Good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren Mostak, and this week, the Bioshi COVID app has been disabled. The women's basketball team won the ASUN championship and course registration for the summer and fall semester open this week. Let's get started. You're watching ENTV now. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Hard Hitters. This week, I'm your host, Sarah Banks, and I'm TCU began asymptomatic testing. And we're going to play Guess the Song. You're watching ENTV now. As FGCU is trying to return back to normal, the Bioshi app will no longer require students and faculty to fill out the survey. On March 7, 2022, the app was disabled and the daily reminder emails to fill out the daily questionnaire will cease and the COVID-19 hotline has gone offline. FGCU's leadership is going to continue monitoring COVID-19 on a daily basis and if you would like to stay up to date on details and FGCU related plans, follow the URL at www.fgcu.edu slash corona update. The women's basketball team finished off the ASUN tournament in the finals, beating Jacksonville State with a 15-point win, 69-54 on March 12th. The number 20 FGC Women's Hoops claims 9th ASUN championship title. FGCU is now 30-2 all-time in the ASUN tournament and have won six straight titles. Overall this season, the win marked the seventh straight win for the Eagles and the 22nd of the last 23 games entering the NCWA tournament. The women will go up against Virginia Tech on March 18th and the start of the NCWA tournament. Congratulations, ladies. As we approach the middle of the semester, we are reminded that course registrations for summer and fall have opened. Students, be sure that you know what date you are to sign up for classes and meet with your advisor, verify there are no holes on your account, and follow the link below to know when your registration slot is. Thank you for watching ENTV Now. Be sure to check out our ENTV Eats segment and the new ENTV Does Ice Skating segment.